look. At what Jesus did. And today we pray for mercy. You know, communion is essential. Take a look at what Jesus did for people like you and I. Pastor Jerry Eze, I'm giving this testimony um, from the UK on behalf of my friend who lives in Italy. Um, she doesn't speak English. I have been following as an SPPD since June 2022. And um, my friend Alien here in the UK, she sent me the link. And uh, my friend Alessandra, who I'm giving the testimony for, she's uh, in Italy and she was diagnosed with breast cancer 17 years ago. She had multiple operations and the cancer came back um, three years ago. And um, I started sharing the link with her back last year in July 2022, uh, because they gave her one year to live. She was terminal with one year to live. And I remember that we prayed um, when one time in July, I don't know if it was July, August, it was praying specifically for women with breast cancer, terminal breast cancer. And the Lord is showing special mercy uh, and grace uh, on people with breast cancer. Uh, Anyone under the sound of my voice uh, with breast cancer, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I command breast cancer disappear. And I, think I claim it for my friend and I used to send her the video and um, to say even if you don't understand because she doesn't speak English just agree and say amen amen and she believed she agreed she was saying amen she was opening the video and fast forward uh, in March she went to the hospital to do some tests for something else and they told her that she was cancer free and the doctor didn't believe it um, here in Italy. She didn't believe it, so they done the test a few times, about five, six times in five different hospitals. And they all confirmed uh, from October last year, 2022, which the blood tests were abnormal to March that everything is normal and she's not um, terminal here anymore. And she, they don't, you know, before they told her that she had one year to leave. Now she's cancer free. And she wants to say thank you as well. Grazie, con tutto il cuore, per questi meravigliosi video, per questo meraviglioso pastore, per la sua grande fede in Dio. Ho sentito sempre, anche se non capivo, ma ha avuto la fede di ascoltare ogni mattina per un anno. She said she wants to say Perfetto. thank you to you, Pastor Jerry Ezi, for your strong anointing, for your faith, for your sacrifice. All of you, your wife, all the pastors that pray every morning. She didn't understand anything, but she was open in the video. She believed and she no, felt the love of God. E Dio ha fatto la sua volontà. Oggi sono qui per dirvi che sono guarita, non credevo, ma sono guarita e Dio si è lodato. She said that she is here today to give glory to God and his mercy that she is healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. May you be blessed. Thank you so much for everything that you do, you and all your team. God bless you. Amen. What God cannot do does not exist. We're coming back for more testimony. Amen. My name is Rafael Modala. Um, I'm from Botswana originally, residing in Ireland now. Um, earlier this year in February, I was diagnosed with uh, lung failure, whereby both my lungs were not uh, working at all, they had collapsed. As a result, I was in the hospital from February up until June, spending almost two months uh, in, in ICU, and part of that time I was in a coma. At that time, I woke up from the coma while I was still in ICU. My aunt, who was praying for me for, with the NSPPD, then informed me that um, the pastor had mentioned that there's a loved one 
who is suffering in ICU. The Lord said, right now, right now, if you don't keep back your testimony, your loved one is waking up in the ICU. Your loved one is waking up in the ICU. But I said this morning, it doesn't look like he will make it. But in what will be called a miracle, even while the prayer is on, your loved one is waking up. He's waking up. He's waking up. And at that time, the pastor took it upon himself to pray for me and pray for everyone in ICU at the time. And as today, I come before you telling you that I've been healed by the grace of God. And I want to thank God for what he has done for me. I have now recovered and also want to just to take this moment to also thank my aunt who was praying with the church. My name is Woka, I make it heaven so Haburun Botswana. I want to confirm that I'm the one who stood at the altar of fire for Huizwane in Ireland. I praise God. What God cannot, what God do, cannot do, what Jehovah, what Jehovah God, God cannot do. Wow, wow, what a privilege. What a privilege. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you won't understand my journey of seven years. Wow. Because I'm from Edo State, I'm based in Italy. I've been here for years now, and I've been stagnated. My enemy has been stagnated for document issues. The first interview I went for for my document was it came out negative second one came out negative third one came out negative uh -huh. oh my god that was how the journey started you won't understand when you are in a place like that without a document for seven years seven years of my life in Italy without document I am working but without documents. I am seeing money, but no document to visit my country. I can't even come to, to make use of my finances in Nigeria. Oh my God, there are people there suffering for document issues. Can you imagine? You know, 2021, I joined Papa. A friend of mine introduced me to this prayer line. You know, first time when I saw the prayer, you know, I was, when Papa was praying, I said, when I look at Papa, I said, Papa, you know, I don't used to believe before. I don't used to believe, but Papa make me to believe, you know. Papa is a, is a blessing to the world, to the generation. Fast forward to September uh, 1st, Papa asked us to write a congratulation note, which I did, and I, he asked us to put a date, and I put a date, the same month, and I feast on the 15th of September, that was last year, I said, the Italian government are going to call me. They are going to say congratulations to you this month for your uh, five years document. And I, then I claim it and I started using it for prayers. And that sent, uh, September was my uh, month for vacation from my work. Then I went for a vacation. When I returned, uh, something in me, I was sitting down in my city room, something in me said I should call my lawyer because my lawyer was handling the case. Then I, call it, I, I put a call on my lawyer and he asked me to come over to his office. Meanwhile, I was having two cases with him, my driving license and my document issues. Then when I went to his office, he asked me to sit down and I sat down. Then I asked, I said, how far have you gone with the court case about my driving license? And he said, give me two minutes. He went to another office, he printed out some papers. He came back to me and he said, measure my name. This month, we want the case. Mm. Ha! I said, which case? Which case? Which case are you talking about? Uh -huh. Is it the driving license issues? Uh -huh. He said, no, we want the case. You, they have given you uh, documents hey. to say, wow. I, I was dumbfounded. I don't know what to say at that time. When Papa would say, how will you shout? Uh -huh. I don't even know how to shout. Hey. Then I said, I shook him. I said, wow, thank you, thank you. You know, I did it. You know, that, that over excitement, I didn't know what to do at that time. But believe me, brethren, when I got home, I, I, then and I remember my seven years ah. without documents. Uh -huh. I started jumping. Praise the line of the floor, rolling, calling Pastor Jerry. I say, oh, Pastor Jerry, you have done it. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Streets of Joy International, oh, wow. I'm coming to give my testimony live in Abuja. I make a vow. He made a vow. He's fulfilling his vow. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. We are the family from Zambia. My name is Sarah and my niece is Aida Charlie. 
she, she's a teacher by profession so she was posted to to a certain city she only worked there for a month then she called me that mommy i can't i can't see i was very disturbed because she never had any eye problem so after she joined the, those prayers she would tell me ah, mommy why is that uh, uh, pastor jerry always prays for people's eyes to open but mine is my case is so difficult that i i can't just see like that i was telling uh, my, my daughter don't worry then uh, we went to the hospital we did mri we did so many scans they 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 were just they couldn't find the problem but they will they will say we don't know the cause of uh, blindness you know we went to so many hospitals, even the big hospitals in Zambia, they couldn't, they examined the highest, they couldn't see the problem. All they could see is, we, we can't, we, we don't know the problem for our blind. But she will never see. But she will never see. She's been out of work since she last year. She, she couldn't see, so she couldn't go for work. It was uh, two months ago, mm -hmm. yes. She went to the hospital, she was told the eyes, uh, there is a problem with the highest the optic nerves. The optic they, say, nerves. they also say the optic nerves are white. Yes, the optic nerves are supposed to the the blood supposed to f flow over the optic nerves. Mm -hmm. But the doctor says the doc the optic nerves are not functioning. Yes, they are damaged. Yes, yes, yes. And for that, they told us that no, we 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 can't do anything before we started the two two weeks prayers and fast fasting yes i had a dream i dreamt you were in my compound my my father's compound you were there praying for everyone then in the morning i i called her i was telling her because i'm in another city it's far from where she is so i told her and you know my daughter i saw pastor jerry in my dreams he prayed for us on 19th a case was mentioned i screamed pastor jerry was like the blind eyes there is creative miracles happening instant miracles blind eyes open then your father said the blood that does not go to they the eyes, they yeah. say blood does not go to the eyes. Receive, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Yeah. Uh, Ali Barana, they say the blood flow uh, has been cut off from your eyes. Uh, Restrict that blood flow to your eyes. If you are the one putting it on the live stream, uh, by the message of God, I announce, let it be reversed. I claimed it. Yes. So when I came, I saw her, she was like, she was walking by herself. I was like, oh, you know, she was telling her that, how, 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 can you see me? She was like, yes. She touched my hair. You haven't plaited your hair. You, you, I screamed. I was like, oh my God. She could see. She was walking by herself. I couldn't do anything. Yes. I couldn't nappy my baby. I mm. couldn't take care of my husband. Yes. I couldn't take care of my children. Mm. I was so worried. I was so down. Now, Pastor Jerry, I can cook. Yes. I can move on my own. Yes. I can wash clothes for mm. my children. I am sharing this testimony on behalf of my younger sister, Esther, whom the Lord delivered and saved from complications after childbirth and my younger sister gave birth on the 26th of june in another town and she started having complications first it was a premature birth so the baby was in the incubator meanwhile she was in the world two days after her stomach just started swelling up it kept swelling a week later one night i my phone rang and i was called that and this is the situation that has happened to her. She thought it would be okay. She didn't want to get anybody um, to panic, but she is not doing fine at all. And they are afraid anything might happen to her. Jesus. Pastor, I was so worried that night. I could not rest. Pastor Jerry, immediately I could perceive in my spirit that this thing was an attack because Pastor, in my father's household, every lady we have children, we have each of us, we have at least one child. And we are not nobody had been married legally in our house and this my younger sister is the first person who got full whose bride price got fully paid she can't sleep she can't sit she can't she is
is restless like somebody who is in labor pain like nothing she cannot eat she cannot drink water my god i asked what's happening i went to see the gynecologist the one who operated her they said they don't know what is happening because no complications came out of the operation this started these reactions came on two days after her operations and they have tried to take her to the lab to check all of this there is nothing wrong pastor this hospital we are talking about is a big government hospital with well-trained and experienced doctors and they told me that what they have decided to do is also to bring in other doctors who are not of the uh, who are not gynecologists so they could all assemble and try to study her case and come up with suggestions as to the various tests they could run on her so they did a lot of tests on her they said they are going to drain because they have realized that there is fluid in her stomach they are going to drain in pastor jerry i went around look for containers they drained seven liters of water out of her tummy i left her with one of my prayer uh, mantles i asked her to always put it on top of her tummy later the doctor called me you know they told me that and uh, they have come to realize that there's something they said i don't understand i'm not a science person they said in her um, what in relation to a lady's kidney or what is supposed to be maximum where is one or one within one one point five she's having over seven points her kidneys are failing they were just using her. At one point, it was like a guinea pig because they will not hourly now tell us. Ask them that if you know you are not discovering what is happening to her, release her out of that hospital because you can't be keeping her. And she's not taking. At one point, they were just giving her painkillers because she, when you look at her, it's like you will cry because you see somebody who is under severe pain, not so. And to think that she cannot even eat or drink water. You know, they said, okay, uh, as, uh, uh, as a result of, of their recent findings, they're going to refer her to a dialysis center in another town on the 28th of July, Pastor Jerry. As I connected to NSPP, it did not up to 10 minutes. Pastor Jerry, the Lord gave you my sister's case. You said there is a lady, you gave birth. Later, your stomach started swelling, and now they are saying it is kidney problem. From the time you delivered up until now, it's been from one complication to another, from one complication to another. But the stage that you are in is that your small stomach is all swollen. Your stomach is all swollen. And they are saying your kidney has failed. And they are saying your kidney has failed. If you are the one putting on the live stream, by the power that rests Jesus from the dead. So before I was before I shouted, my daughter who was sleeping beside me shouted and mommy that called Auntie Esther's case were shouting. I recorded it, I sent it to her. I told her Esther, it is done. The Lord has done it. She listened to it, she called me and shouted. I said, Yes, Pastor Jerry, as we are talking, Esther is strong, taking care of her baby, enjoying her life. Pastor Jerry, thank you so much. For, for for giving yourself as uh, I don't know how to say whether it's a sacrifice but for the, the heart you have for God to reveal the things he's revealing through you we want to say thank you Jesus for taking away the shame and that which the enemy had planned for my family Pastor Jerry my prayer for you is that the Lord will keep strengthening you day by day he will use you and that daily fact I always say Lord shelter Pastor Jerry from the eyes of wicked and unreasonable men what God cannot do does not exist I am Dr. Ifepo. I'm based in the United States. I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I, I do cosmetic and reconstructive surgery of the face. And uh, I praise God that I'm internationally known for what I do, which is surgery as well as building and running hospitals. I have testimonies that I said I will not send by phone because I don't want it to get lost in the internet. I will come to Nigeria to give a testimony. So, there were several projects uh, over the years that I got involved in. Uh, I run medical missions around the world and uh, also looking to build hospitals and build uh, uh, universities and things like that. And so for there were several situations where a lot of the projects I was looking for were in suspended animation. We just not go through. We wait small, small, we go small and then stop. So I joined NSPPD 
I was a little reluctant because of bad experiences from previous Nigerian pastors. And so, Auntie Vicky said, he's praying using the word. I said, Auntie, you are right. He said, this shout. I said, well, it's okay. Because if somebody, if those little boys are coming to pluck mangoes in your house, in your yard, would you not shout, stop? How much more somebody coming into your house to kill, steal, and destroy? You will say, Raka Satatabara. He will stop. He will say, Oga, I don't know, say you'll be an SPPD. Okay. So, that is when we joined. And we were on the altar, on the altar, every night, every night. So, I said, wow, okay, this is July fasting, I'm going to join. And I will do it exactly as Pastor said. I will even add Jara. From midnight to 6 p.m., dry fast. So, on uh, um, July 11, they said, write the things that you want to stop. So I wrote everything down. And then we went forward and we prayed. All of a sudden, the dam burst. <laughs> Projects that 15,000 companies applied for and did not get since 2015. An NSPPD and that is looking at you like this. This is, this is live, this is not Memorex. I was one of 14 companies that got these projects and we were at the top. Before I could now say, oh God, let me adjust my tie. Another project in the Caribbean, multi-million dollar project. When the other islands of the Caribbean heard about the project, they started calling me. I had to turn off my phone because they need us to do all these projects. Big, big projects. Wall Street calling me. Pastor Jerry, you have raised an army of warriors. Yes. Level Deo, when a man of God is hearing from God, listen, just do it. Your time is now. May the name of the Lord be praised. Nespipidios! Hey! <laughs> Somebody celebrate Jesus! Celebrate! 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 Somebody shout! 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 What our God cannot do, and as we be, let me ask you, Jesus, stay here. I did not hear you. Jesus, stay here. Jesus, stay here. Jesus, stay here. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 fire, yeah, 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 fire. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah, yeah, yeah. You are a mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah! Your hands, your hands, your hands! Mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody shall fire! Shall fire! Shall fire! Shall fire. Fire. fire! People of God, I don't even know where to begin with. I don't know which one to begin. I don't know where to stop. But people of God, I love that thing he said. He said, if these little boys come to block things in your house, will you not raise your voice and say stop? Not to think of the person that they said has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When you say, say, get out of here. Get out of here. Will you get out? Will you get out? Will you stay? No, 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 no. Shut up. Somebody shall fire. And as we be as is it what?
working? Is he working? Is he working? People of God, I love this kind of testimony. Yes, sir. Coming from a yes, cosmetic sir. plastic surgeon, known all over, known the, all over the world, world. known all does. over the world. Yes, hey. People of God, look at that testimony. Sir. Look at that testimony. Sir. What our great God. Sir cannot do does not, does exist. not exist the whole world everybody yeah. calling him up and down hey. people of god i love what he said hey. he says suddenly, suddenly the dam burst hey. as hey. in like we say it in layback nigeria's hey. uh, uh, slang uh, hey. two seconds everything hey. burst people hey. of god he started busting from hey. everywhere hey. started busting hey. somebody hey. with the ladders hey. amen hey. get ready get ready get ready hey. before today is hey. over hey. Before yeah, today yeah. is ah, over, Jesus. let your own boss oh, Let your own boss oh, Let your own oh, boss oh, Let your oh, amen turn the louder. Oh, People of God, from 2015, 2015 from 2015, 2015, 2015, 2015, something more than how many companies? 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. He said, Jesus. it is what an NSPB yes, that, that was that was a proud father moment yes, for me. He said, what an NSPB that, that is looking at I you face to face. Hey! hey. Hey, uh, what our God cannot do. Uh, people of God, I can stay on that testimony for like forever. But look at that post, part, post, post bottom uh, complication. People of God, that post uh, bottom complication. People of God, look at that one. Look at the shocking right now what you're going through right like, come on the precision is right now what is happening to you is that your, your stomach is is, is is swelling is bloated and uh, there's, a kidney, there's a kidney failure there's a exactly what is going on exactly what Jesus. God is good. Jesus. God is good. People of God, huh. we are trying to recover that one. Look at total blindness, total blindness. for one year. Total blindness. Total blindness. Like and total this one blindness. is that your optic nerves are totally damaged. Total blindness. Total blindness. People of God, that day the word came. That day the word came. That day the, that word, came. That day. That day the word came. People of God, today is your day. Yes, sir. At the sound of your amen, let everything be reversed amen. right now. And people of God, look at it's only that person that has that immigration challenge yeah, that will sure. explain to you what has happened. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy. it's not easy. So many people have that challenge. Yeah. And people of God, look at the long failure. Look at that long failure. He was in coma. He was in coma, but the aunt was actually on the altar of fire, standing in for him. The devil will not have this one. People of God, everybody you are standing in the gap for, as your amen will thunder, hear me as I hear the Lord, they will carry their evidence. Ah, people of God, Jesus. I look at that one. You know when they sit back and say, oh, Africans are the ones yeah. always giving this. Africans are the yeah. ones. People of God, look oh. at them now. Yeah. Look at them. People of God, look at the first testimony yes, that we have. People of God, look at. You see, the devil does not select your color of skin no, no, when he wants to strike. No, he doesn't no select. People of God, look at her. All the way from he is, she is in the UK. She, uh, and I friend. guess she's also Italian, but yes. living in the UK. Yes. And then, but the other one, she Italian. didn't even hear what she was. She just Italian. opens the prayer. Same she amen. just opened and be saying, Amen. amen. She was. She doesn't hear what we are saying. She just says hey. amen. She doesn't hear what we are saying. Amen. Just says Jesus. amen. People of God, and look, they gave her one year one to year live. Year. Now they cannot find the cancer. <laughs> they gave her one year. Oh, hey. 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 Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They gave her one oh, year to live. Oh, right yeah, now yeah, they yeah, cannot yeah. find the cancer. Jesus. People of God, hey. I don't care what man has said. Uh -huh. Any verdict of man, uh -huh. any verdict of doctors, uh -huh. whatever verdict it is, uh -huh. at your Jesus. amen or thunder, let them be overruled by fire. People of God, go and tell everybody that hey. the tabernacle of God yes, is now with men. Yes, sir. God is now again. Go and tell everybody it is happening. Oh, it is life. Oh, where are you? Are you part of this revival? Have they jumped on here? If your friends and your family members are not here, they are absolutely very wrong for what our God cannot do. Does not exist. And if you're ready with your communion, we are ready right now. We pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. People of God, it becomes the very blood of Jesus. We pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very flesh of Jesus. Amen. And people of God, our first communion is a communion that says, Abba has shown me great mercy. Amen. Abba has shown me great mercy. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus.